welcome back to another DIY video. Today I'm going to be sharing some of the things that we've been doing to the house since we've moved in. So we've done a lot of painting in this video mainly because we need to sand the floors and I've been told that you need to do the painting on the walls and the ceilings before the floor because if you sand the floor and stain it nicely and then drop paint on it you're gonna have a problem. And I think it would be a bit of an understatement to say that I'm a little bit clumsy when it comes to painting. What I'm really excited about today is that Valspar actually reached out to me and they are partnering with me on this video, which I'm very excited about because I've used their paint in some of the rooms before, mainly in my office. I used a really lovely off-white by Valspar in my office and I'm so pleased with it. So I'm gonna share with you the whole process of picking the paints out. But to do that, first of all, we need to go to B&Q. I had a lot of fun looking through all the different paint swatches to pick the shades for the three rooms I needed to paint, but if you're sure of the exact colour that you want to use, Valspar will actually colour match any item for you to take the hard work out of choosing that perfect shade. Their range of paints come in many different finishes and the V700 blend is scrubbable and stain resistant for those high traffic areas. Okay, we've got the goods. So these are the colors I picked. I've got Flock of Seagulls, which is for the dining room. It's a really nice bluey gray color. This almost black color called Deep Space Echo is for the tiny bathroom downstairs. And then I picked this off white called Sleeping In and this will be in the sitting room. So this is Flock of Seagulls. I am really excited to try this one. We've got a drop cloth on the radiator to protect it. I'm gonna move these chairs before getting started, but I'm not too worried about the floor because um, that needs sanding and staining. days this is how far we've got we've done all of these walls and all over here I'm just gonna wait to do that top bit when someone else is at home with the walls looking so nice and fresh I knew I couldn't leave the door in this state so I decided to try and use a heat gun to remove some of the older paint how far I got um thank you so much okay it's been a few days since the fire alarm incident and I did actually try again with what I thought were the alarm switches off and um So now we need to figure out plan B. Well, probably plan C. Plan B was to use a paint stripper, but I tried using paint stripper on the stairs and it didn't really work. And it was so strong that it really messed with my asthma. So I'm thinking I'm gonna forego the paint stripper and I'm gonna try and sand the door. I actually tested the sander here and it seems to have worked really well. As you can see, it's not really the texture of the door that needs working on. It's just the fact that there's like loads of glue and whatever's going on down here that needs to be sorted and a couple of holes that need filling. I think this actually might end up being hard work. So wish me luck and let's see how it goes. I am out of sandpaper. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. With the door freshly sanded, I filled some of the holes and the cracks with an all-purpose filler. A wood filler might be best, but I misplaced the one that I bought specifically for this job. So as you can see, everything is going to plan as it always does. But this did seem to work, so uh, it, it was a win. Next up, two coats of gloss paint. Everybody, 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 everybody. 
This is how the door is looking. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It was looking so bad beforehand. I still need to fill in these with a piece of wooden dowel and then fill them over and paint them. But that's a job for another day because it took so much longer than I thought it was gonna take. And at some point soon, I will do all of this trim in the same color as the door because I'm just waiting to do the skirting boards once we've sanded all of the floors. We still need a new light fixture for the ceiling. I want to remove that nasty rail there and put some new curtains up on a new rail and fix some of the coving. But other than that, we're getting somewhere. So that's what the dining room looks like. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. There are so many things that still need to be done in there, but a lick of paint makes all the difference. I'm a firm believer in painting things. If you have no other budget or time to do anything else, paint is such a good idea. And if you don't like it, you can paint over it another time. It's so easy. With the dining room done, I was then able to focus all my efforts on the small downstairs toilet. And I used a paint color in here that's very different to what I normally do. So uh, let me show you. Do you want to see the color that's going in the downstairs bathroom? I would. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Ready? Ooh. Oh me. It's like a really deep bluish black. Me oh my, that was nice. Do you like that? Okay, so you're gonna help me? <laughs> first things first, I gotta clear out this bathroom. Here you go. I guess I'm gonna put these down here. Who's gonna hold the camera? That's a very good question. BB is like, coming through. Looks like a daunting task. It's, uh, yes. Don't use the toilet because I'm taking the toilet roll away. That might be a mistake. It better not be. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's paint. Let's paint. Ooh. Uh oh. Oops. Oops. Don't show that blob. Don't show the blob. Don't show the blob. At this point, I decided to finally put down some masking tape. The walls in this bathroom hadn't been plastered so they weren't perfectly smooth but the paint still went on really really nicely and I ended up only needing one coat. With the walls done it was time to tackle the floor and box the pipes.
one coat of the white paint so far. This is what the box is looking like. I hate to say it, but I think I don't like it white. So in the middle of the night this night, I decided to go ahead and just paint it black. This is how it turned out. And lastly this week I had to paint the sitting room because I'm desperate to give this room a makeover and change everything in here. So the first thing I had to do was put some colour on the wall. And by colour I mean I picked an off-white. But still, I really, really like how it turned out. So I've just started painting this wall. As you can see right here, this is the color I'm using, and this is the Brilliant White, the undercoat. They're really similar, but you can kind of tell that this is like a slight off-white gray color, and I think it looks really nice with the white trim. And this is what my hands are currently looking like. <sighs> Hashtag Renault problems. So I've done two coats on the bottom half, all the way from the door to the window. I'll wait to do the top until someone else is at home with me so they can hand me the paint. And then I have to do this side. overview of what the whole thing looks like. So that's everything I have to share with you guys this week. I am so pleased with how everything turned out. I think all of the paint made such a difference in all of these spaces, but as you can see, we have a long way to go. It's not perfect yet. It's got a long way until it's gonna be perfect. But hopefully in the next video, I can share with you some more of the journey on, on the route to getting perfect or however perfect this house will end up being. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.